this guy sells cars using fake Facebook pages. He takes photos of the vehicles in front of random houses. He goes out of his way to throw his unhappy customers off his trail. So I went out of my way to nail him. I ain't telling you nothing. Say hi to Junk Car Joe. Runs, drives, oil changed every 3,000 miles. A used car creep who specializes in felonies and fake names. You're not John Kelly? No. And while this guy is pretty slick. I'm just devastated, sick. He made a sucker out of you. Made me a fool. I'm slicker. We ain't running no scam. Oh, come on, John, what Joe, you whatever your friggin' name is. This is Michael's car. While it may look nice, it's not. So it's a full-on piece of junk. Junk. Mike got the car off Facebook Marketplace. The seller, John Killy. Here's the messaging. Hi, John. Is this still available? Of course. Good car. John and Michael meet at this subway in Warren, where John Killy says he takes his lunch. Where do you work at, John? And he said, I work for, I repair machines for Chrysler, which I don't think he does. Mm -hmm. Okay. And. Because you said he had no socks on. He had clogged, rubber clogged shoes on with no socks. Like Crocs? Crocs. It's bad enough John Killy has god-awful tasted footwear. He also told this god-awful lie. It's a one-owner vehicle. Me and my wife bought it new. John Killy was in such a hurry to get back to work, Michael didn't even have time to test drive the car. He's the smoothest talking guy you will ever meet in your life. John Killy talked Mike into giving him $300 cash to hold the car. He wrote out this janky-looking receipt, but signed his name, John Esquibo. Mike didn't even notice. I thought the guy was nice. Later that night, John delivered the car to Michael at his house. Michael gave him $3,700 cash. John handed Mike the title and hurried <laughs> off in his crotch. Immediately, Michael knew he'd been duped. It's uh, got an oil leak. It's got a water leak. He ran a Carfax on the vehicle, which original owner, John Killy, sold him. And as you can see in the Carfax, it's not a one owner vehicle. He just purchased it two weeks before he sold it to me. Boy, what a lie. And according to the Secretary of State, it was purchased for $500 as a scrap vehicle. Purchased and then sold for $4,000 to Michael by a guy named Joseph Anthony Yakinto. Yep, John Killey is this guy. Joe Yakinto is a lifelong fraud fella. According to the state police, in the 90s he was convicted of larceny by conversion. In the 2000s he racked up a felony false pretenses over $20,000 conviction, a felony motor vehicle intent to pass false title conviction, a felony odometer tampering conviction, and in the 2010s another false pretenses felony conviction. I interviewed Michael in August, but it took me until now to catch this guy. So listen, I know you're Joe Yakinto. I'll show you when I got him, but first let me show you how. Joe Yakinto didn't have a good address. The place listed on the title of the lemon he sold Michael was his wife's house. Does he work at a car dealership or something? I apologize, he's a strange. Meanwhile, Joe, AKA John Killy, was still selling cars. Every few weeks, I came across Facebook Marketplace ads. The ads were only up for a few minutes. I'm guessing once John Killy got a fish on the line, he took down the bait. After all, he's got a bunch of bad reviews. The photos of the cars John Killy was selling seemed to be taken in the same place. It looked like Warren, maybe near 8 Mile, close to the subway John Killy met Michael at. After weeks of driving up and down Warren streets, trying to match up houses to the photos, we found the location. Yeah, this street is full of really nice houses and really nice people. None of the neighbors I spoke to told me they knew who Joe Yakinto was, but they did tell me they had surveillance systems. And if they saw some random dude taking pictures of cars, they would contact me. And Friday, Joe Show. Here he is taking pictures of a gold minivan. An hour later, that van is listed for sale by John Killy, who wanted to meet my undercover car customer at the same subway he met Michael. Uh, let me just tell you what happened. My father-in-law got his license taken away, and he's had it for a long, long time, and he just can't drive no more. Okay. Yeah, John Killy's just a guy selling his father-in-law's van. That's the only reason why, and he doesn't have much longer to live. Oh, I'm sorry. So, it's the only reason why we're getting rid of it. You don't have to do nothing to it. The buyer gets in the driver's seat, but I'm taking the wheel. 
Open up. John Killy? Hey, John, are you John Killy? John Killy? Yeah, John Killy. Aren't you the guy selling the car? No, I don't know who you are. Oh? You're not John Killy? No. Okay, so, well, he contacted a guy named John Killy about this car. This guy. The car buyer gets out. Joe's ready to hit the road. I know you're Joe Yaquinto, and you're running a scam here, Joe. Why don't you talk to me? We ain't running no scam. Okay, if you don't give me my keys back, we got a What are are you going to do? What are you going to do? Where'd you get this car? So here's a bunch of your cars. You say your name's John Killy, right? You say your name is John Killy. You're okay. right. I don't know who you are. I'm Ron Waltrick from Fox Good. You do See know you who I am. Joe's busy trying to get away from one TV camera, and out comes another TV camera. Yep, Joe, your customer is a cameraman. I ain't telling you nothing. Oh, so uh, you're just care. getting nervous. Okay, so listen, Joe, we know you're a you know who I guy. Am you got my keys, okay? Nobody's got your damn keys, dude. See you guys later, man. I don't okay. even know who you are. Well, well, here, let me give you a, 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 a key. You, you took money from a guy down river and you sold him a Lincoln MKZ. Oh, Here's my car. Wrong. Lincoln. You better close your door. Well, that ain't something you see every day. A dude driving away with his door open. Hey, Joe, what do you know? You're in the Hall of Shame. Now, Joe did have a state auto dealer license at one time, and according to the Secretary of State, he hasn't had a complaint since 2005. Officials say that's when he chose not to renew his license because the department was taking administrative action to revoke it.